Welcome to Wyzetta High School for volleyball action tonight, a non-conference matchup as the Trojans play host to the Maple Grove Crimson. Good evening, I'm Jay Wilcox, and uh, what a great start to the year for Maple Grove. Off to a 9-0 start this fall, and that includes a tournament championship over at Hopkins on the weekend. The Crimson definitely got tested. They had a squeak past Armstrong in the semifinals. They had a good one against Hopkins in the championship match, and they're coming into this one riding high, playing very well. One of their better starts that they've had really in program history for the Crimson, and they want to keep it going tonight as they get ready to face their arch rival Osseo on Tuesday. Meanwhile, for Wise, had a little bit of a different story. They've got mostly new faces in the lineup this year, and they still have continued to play a tough schedule. It's led to a 2-7 and seven start. Something that this uh, strong Wyzetta program hasn't experienced very often. Their coach Scott Jackson said, you know, we're getting better. We're still working on things. Serve receive will be a key tonight for the Trojans. They've had a, you know, a lot of players who haven't had much experience with that. And they're trying to get that part of it shored up. And they feel like if they do that, they have a chance to uh, get better throughout the season here. Tell you about key players to look at in tonight's contest. Starting with the visitors for Maple Grove, Madison Black. Not all that big for a middle at 5'10", but she's been consistent this season. Leads her team in kills and has also done a nice job blocking. They really have three or four people who have stepped up and performed well this season. And uh, Madison is one of those who is really getting the job done as a senior for Maple Grove. And for Wyzetta, one of their players that they do have back who's played some on the varsity level, Olivia Roberts, another middle. She has done a solid job for them blocking and uh, getting involved in the offense some as well. The Trojans just want to get better. And, and, you know, I think they look at tonight as an opportunity. This Maple Grove team coming in playing very well, but Wyzetta on their home court feeling like, okay, if we have a shot and can, uh, can steal a set or two or maybe even win this one, it could be the start of some better things down toward the uh, second half of the season. Stay tuned. The Crimson and the Trojans go at it next year on CCX Sports. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes, but with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. Welcome here to Wyzetta High School as we get set for volleyball action. A non-conference matchup tonight here. Maple Grove and Wyzetta. And Maple Grove off to a great start. Nine wins, no losses, including that tournament championship over at the Hopkins Invitational on Saturday where they beat Hopkins in the championship after beating Armstrong in the semifinal. So they're coming in really flying high. To look at the starters for Coach Haugen and crew. Skylar Gray, Paige Hinsey, Annika Peeler, Madison Black, Alexi Preed, Zoe Brown, and Allie Hinsey is the libero for the Crimson. And for Wyzetta, starting lineup looks like this. Kate Long, Sophia Jesuits, Olivia Roberts, Lily M. Long, Elizabeth Helmick, who's their leader in kills, Olivia Johnson, and Abby Sheehy is the libero for the Trojans and Coach Scott Jackson. A, a young group, inexperienced group. They really graduated pretty much everybody who played in the section championship, or most everybody who played regularly for them a year ago. So a, a kind of an unwise at like season so far, but they're learning and, and growing and getting better. Olivia Johnson to serve it up here for Wyzetta, and we are underway. 
Maple Grove going left side with it. Cross scored and down by Alexi Preed. And the Crimson strike first here. Another look at that ball finding the corner without too much difficulty there. Paige Hinsey serving now for Grove. And wiped off the block. Kate Long will score the point for Wyzetta and evens us up at 1-1. Quick substitution for the Trojans as Tatum Rubal, the junior, will come in. She will serve here for Wyzetta. Right side with it here and had a net violation against Wyzetta, so score the point for Maple Grove. The hit wound up long, but Wyzetta was into the net. Give the Crimson the point. Finally uh, getting a ball out there for Allison Hinsey to uh, serve up here. And too strong with that one. Maybe a little bit too much adrenaline going here to start things out as she sails that one long and evens us up at two apiece. Abby Sheehy, one of the captains for the Trojans, will serve. Maple Grove able to get into their offense and it's hammered home there by Skylar Gray, the freshman who's had a nice start to the season here for the Crimson. See them really doing a nice job getting into their offense. Zoe Brown puts it on target and Gray hammers it home. Middle to Roberts, dug up there by Freed. Off a block and then unable to handle it there is Olivia Johnson who just kind of ate her up, came up chest high there and was unable to handle it. So Maple Grove with Freed serving here, leading it four to two in this opening set. Good first pass there. The lefty Helmick able to get the kill for Wyzetta as she got the ball right back. 6-2 sophomore, she's a good one. Left-hander. You can see is set pretty well on target from Johnson and Wyzetta back to within a point here as Caitlin Haug will serve now for the Trojans. Ball might have been headed out, but the Crimson not gonna take any chances there. Diving jig, and Wyzetta will have to play it over here. To the outside on the slide that's sprayed a little bit wide there by Annika Peeler. And we are even up at four apiece. Wyzetta won last year in the regular season. These teams have not really played all that regularly, though, throughout the years. And Maple Grove would love to get a W here. Oh, great dig there by Sheehy. It will give Wyzetta a chance to keep the play alive. Dumped over, and originally getting to it there was Howard, but Trojan's not able to keep it up as you get another look here at the setter dump by Brown. So a five to four lead for the Crimson and Skylar Gray serving. And that ball put away nicely by Carissa Travis, a little hang time there. And that set to the middle and Able to find the corner here, you see. Nice arm swing there and kept the ball in play, so Trojans even it up. Good, tough serve, but handled pretty well. Cross court with that one, and the kill recorded by Paige Hinsey. Hard to tell from this vantage point. It looked like it might have been wide, but Trojans played it, so a 6-5 to five lead here for Maple Grove, and Annika Peeler to serve here for the Crimson. Avery Sees checking in number one, the freshman for Wyzetta. They'll serve right at her, oops, and nobody home. Couldn't get the ball really up to the setter there. And kinda got caught looking, the Trojans did. It was obviously not really on target, but it probably still should have been playable there. Serve receive has been the number one issue really for Wyzetta, according to Coach Jackson. And this one put away, they did a better job that time. And Kate Long, the recipient of a set there that uh, gave her a lot of choices in the seven to six lead for Maple Grove now is uh, Wyzetta back with one. And Sophie Jesuits 
Another of those freshmen serving. And right deep to the corner. Nice heads up play by Paige Hinsey. She got a good look at the defense there and just wipes this ball deep and hits the corner without too much trouble. You see easily within the line there. Joey Brown serving. Pass tight to the net there and we had by Maple Grove attacking that set and so the Trojans, they got a little over eager. That pass was pretty tight to the net. It wasn't gonna be a very easy one to handle but see coming over the top there with the Crimson. So Olivia Johnson serving now for YZ, trying to tie things back up. Off the block, but unable to uh, do anything with it. Brown reaching out with the right hand, but couldn't keep that ball up. It's eight to eight. Kind of, a, in a lot of ways, a role reversal, I think. You know, throughout the years, YZ has been a, a very strong program and probably would have been considered the favorite against Maple Grove in most of those years. This year, definitely not the case coming in, but the young Trojans doing pretty well so far, leading at 9-8. Johnson to serve again. Good hard serve, but handled. Now rolled to the middle there by Preed. And this one put away by Kate Long, and Wyzetta's gotten some momentum going. You can see the smiles, the confidence growing a little bit as they've gone up 10 to eight. Johnson, another tough serve. Outside, Hinsey, they have to play it off the curtain, but the recovery made, and then tipped to the outside. And put away by Roberts on the easy setup at the net as he white blocks it to the side there. Good control not to run into the net. Three point lead, Wyzetta. And now make it two as Johnson had a nice run of serves there, but then that one serving error into the tape and Crimson get the side out on Paige Hinsey, one of their seniors will serve. Goes down the line with this one, a long way to run. Off the block, Black able to recover. And then a hard swing and put away there by Skylar Gray. Good effort, but Wyzetta unable to dig it up. Crimson back within two. They got challenged a lot against Southwest, against Armstrong, against Hopkins over in that tournament on Saturday. Nice short floater serve. Seas just got to it. Back for Gray and unable to fight it off there was Johnson. I like the way Gray is very aggressive. He's coming up. Taking some hard swings and mostly had success so far. Lock up just a touch late. It's 11-11. And that serve not handled there as uh, we talked about the little bit of the issue for the Trojans throughout the season so far. 12-11 Crimson. Hinsey's a tough server. Time handle a little bit better there, but they'll have to play it over. And it is too deep and out. Good communication there by Maple Grove. And they have now rattled off five in a row to lead 13-11. Lindsay again coming with that tough serve. And this one put away in the middle as they got into the offense quick and Roberts able to put it away. Block was up very late there. Helmick will check back in and Rubald as well. Rubald to serve here. The Trojans back within a point. And that one is into the net. So make it 14 to 12. Those are the kind of things Rosetta can't afford. And obviously in any match you don't want to have serving errors, but Ali Hinsey serving here for the Crimson. And nice block put up there as Peeler was there along with Creed. I think Peeler got most of that one, 15-12. Crimson. And that one's gonna be too strong. There's Lizetta's turn to talk and call it out that it was gonna be out. Coming back in now is Jesowitz for the Trojans. Sheehy will serve. Uh, 
Up for Gray, near collision there, but the Trojans keep it alive. Brown coming middle with it. Nice dig there by Johnson for Wyzetta. And then Hinsey the other way. And we have double contact call there against Maple Grove. So long point ends up going Wyzetta's way as not clean ball handling there for the Crimson. And Wyzetta's to within one now and Sheehy will serve. Nice block there. Crimson not able to recover. That ball was outside the antenna. Good effort by Gray, but not able to keep it going. It's 15-15. Think a little bit of an advantage, especially playing on Monday night, goes to the home team. Not that used to playing on Monday night. So a lot of times after a tournament, you know, you've got at least a one day of practice to get ready. And being in your home gym, I think, helps out. And Roberts up. Perfect timing on that block. Wyzetta back in front now by a point at 16-15. There you get a look. Roberts timed that one up. She was in perfect position. The ball hit off the net. They'll come right side with it. Trojans, an opportunity to get an attack going there. Long run, and they can't get it. Hinsey trying to play that ball overhand. Paige Hinsey, that is, so... Two-point lead, Wyzetta. Just when it looked like Maple Grove, maybe it start to pull away a little bit. Wyzetta coming right back. Been a nice run of serves here for Abby Sheehy. Come back right side, and that one put away. Much needed side out, Alexi Preed. Ball, I think, hit some hands on the way and then it wound up in anyway. So, Preed serving here. Handled well by Helmick. Roberts trying to hit the line there, but just missed. It was kind of a calculated gamble there to let that one go, but it was definitely out. So, 17 all, and Preed will try to give Crims the Crimson the lead back. Tough ball to the net, and Johnson. Not on the same page with her middle there. And Roberts was just kind of caught in hanging in the air there. So Maple Grove takes the lead back. Good first pass here. They come to Helmick. Nice recovery by Paige Hinsey to dig that one up. Went down ball there, but recovering was Johnson. Helmick firing away again, and she gets it done. It's 18 to 18. I think their most potent hitter for sure. And coming back in to serve, Caitlin Haug here for Wyzetta. Looks like we're going to go down to the wire in this first set. And dumped over there by Brown. Way to calm things down for Maple Grove. They go back in front, 19-18. Another look at it here. Saw the opening behind the uh, blockers and when used sparingly, that's obviously a very effective weapon if you can disguise it. Ready to serve, not handled real well, but they do get it over. Hinsey a diving play to dig it up and then it is Paige Hinsey, the block didn't quite close in time. There's just a little space to sneak it in and it went off hands and into the net. So a 20 to 18 lead for Maple Grove. They come to Helmick and she delivers once again here for Wyzetta. Haven't really had an answer for her for the most part. Trojans backed within a point now as Helmick will serve. to get to it. Gray too strong with that one. We are evened up now at 20. Helmick a bullet serve there. 
Now Paige Hinsey tipping it over. Here's a chance for Wyzetta. They'll come out to the left side, off the block, and good. Score the kill for Kate Long, and it's 21-20, Wyzetta. Another look. Again, the block up just a touch late. Helmick that time fires into the tape, so 21 all. Boy, in a lot of ways for Wyzetta, th I think th things have gone really well for them. They can't afford to let this one get away, I think. They, Maple Grove has started very slow. And that one was double contact, not a clean set there. So 22-21 Crimson. Peeler to serve here again for Maple Grove. And they just barely keep it alive. Maple Grove now into their offense. And swiped over the block there by Paige Hinsey. Really didn't get much of that one. I don't think that was exactly what they had in mind there, but uh, it'll count the same. 23-21 and a timeout taken here by Scott Jackson as they give uh, Hinsey a little smile and a pat on the shoulder there and get another look at it here as the set comes. The timing really isn't there, and she pretty much mishits it. But sometimes those are the tough ones to judge for the defense. And you can see they're uh, chuckling a little bit. Good to see Maple Grove isn't uh, you know, getting too panicky on the road here with uh, with this really close one. We said they've definitely been challenged this year. You know, they've, they've won them all up to this point. But it hasn't been as though they're just, you know, storming through every opponent either. So they're they're kind of used to, uh, you know, sometimes having to come from behind a little bit or or at least, uh, you know, even within a set, falling behind. And they've kind of had a little back and forth with Wyzetta in this first set tonight. So 23-21 lead here for the visitors from Maple Grove. Now, three of their four matches in that Hopkins tournament on the weekend went to uh, the full three sets. And nice block there. Addy Black getting up along with uh, Zoe Brown. And 24-21 and another quick timeout requested here as Maple Grove one point away from trying to seal up this uh, opening set. Had a good mix of, of young and, uh, and older, you know, more experienced players on this team for the Crimson. I mean, they're getting pretty good contributions from the freshman Gray and also uh, Allison Hinsey as a sophomore. And then that kind of a core group of uh, good juniors and seniors as well with Peeler and Paige Hinsey and Black being seniors and Brown and and Freed being juniors. So a uh, good experience group for, for Wyzetta. Meanwhile, a lot of players who just haven't played a lot of uh, on, on varsity or or haven't necessarily been in the positions that they're in, whether it be high school or club too. So they're, you know, having to, having to really learn and work on new skills as varsity players, which can be a little bit tough. Peeler trying to close it out here for Grove. Three ball opportunity here for Maple Grove. Going to go on the slide to the outside there, but dug up. And they'll have to play it off the net. Nice recovery there by Brown. Off hands there and unable to keep that ball up with Skylar Gray. So a good point one there for Wyzetta. Both teams really stuck with it there, and the Trojans end up getting it. Jesuits to serve. Come quick to the middle, and that tip is good, and Black will win it for Maple Grove. It was not easy, but the Crimson coming up with a 25-22 win in the opening set. There you look, tip around the block, and they just couldn't get there to the outside. So it's 25-22 victory here for Maple Grove on Wyzetta's home court. We'll come back with more after this. Was just a bottle.
that no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. The color in my garden keeps the pink of my cheeks. I was very independent and thought I could take care of myself. I fell and I had to have meals on wheels. They're my savior. My name is Lola Silvestri. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. As it turns out, we have very similar personalities. And this cat makes me make art because he's always motivating me to take pictures of him, to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. It's just that simple. Well, he's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Hey, yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Welcome back here to Wyzetta High School as Maple Grove leads it one set to none now after pulling out a close 25-22 opening set. A lot of things, you know, Wyzetta did well. Obviously, uh, they're coming into this with just a couple of wins this season. I think, you know, to a certain extent, they probably played closer to their A game than, than Maple Grove did in that first, but the Crimson still pulling out the victory right there. And... Uh, see how things develop from there if uh, Wyzetta builds a little bit of confidence from that even and if Maple Grove just kind of picks up where they left off and try and uh, pull away and take the second set as well. Maple Grove we talked about they've got uh, their arch rival Osseo coming up on Tuesday night, so had another tough match and one that they're probably looking forward to a little bit, but obviously you gotta take care of business here at Wyzetta. Zoe Brown to serve here for the Crimson. And we are ready here for set two. Maple Grove has served well in this first set. Three ball chance here for the Trojans. And yeah, whoops, and Roberts was on the way down and called for the lift there as they didn't quite get on the same page there on that set. Down the serve and Wyzetta, a little bit of uh, lack of communication there. They nearly ran into each other and Helmick just didn't really get her platform there and get under that ball. Skids off to the side and two nothing lead for Grove. Roberts able to punch it over. Nice dig by Helmick. And the other way by Allie Hinsey. near collision for Wyzetta. Great effort by Hinsey there to go to the floor for that one for the Crimson. And that ball was into the tape, not blocked, but into the net. So a point for Maple Grove. Helmick hitting from the back row here. This pass too tight to the net. And 
unable to handle that one as Maple Grove. And those are the tough ones. Right, right into the net. I mean, it's hard to try and set it, and you're also trying to be ready for a block, and you see it just kind of went up her body there. And Black able to sneak that one through as the blockers didn't time it quite right. Madison Black hitting the kill there for the Crimson. They lead it four to one. Helmick sends it over. And to the outside and Skylar Gray puts it away. And Here's where if you're Maple Grove, you really want to step on the gas, I think. You, you know, we went back and forth in the first set. You know, Wyzetta hung around nicely, but then you put them away late, and I think now you want to, you know, take away their confidence to begin the second set, but not that time. And <laughs> Roberts hammers it home, five to two. Deficit for the Trojans as she, he will serve. Right side with it there, and Freed knows what to do with it. She's had a good season, good career. 71 kills coming into tonight. And uh, a better hitting percentage on their team as well. 224 hitter. Allison Hinsey serving here for the Crimson. She digs it up. Let's see, can they get it off the ceiling? Yes. Good job to stick with it there. They come to Helmick off the block and good. And Helmick has been very consistent in coming through for the Trojans when she's gotten a set to handle. Julia Robley coming in to serve now for Wyzetta. They trail at 6-3 here in the second set. More than their share of lefties, it seems. <laughs> and, um, this hit there by Freed. I just talked to her up a moment ago. That time kind of took her eye off it a little bit, left it short. Trying to put a little too much touch on that one, it seemed like, rather than just taking a, a normal swing. Oops. That was a little mix up there for Maple Grove, but Peeler did a nice job adjusting. She was not expecting that kind of a set, but able to just wipe it off the block. Reed serve, an overpass there, oh! Had a player into the net, it looked like. So eight to four lead. Reed to serve, ooh, good recovery by Sheehy to get to that one, but then the hit is too strong, and Maple Grove is really assuming control here early in this second set. over, Freed, and now the tip over is dug up there by the Trojans. This time they'll come back out to Gray, and a nice dig there. And a miss hit by Helmick that time. Didn't really have an approach, he was kind of backpedaling, and those generally result in some miss hits. 10 to four lead for Wyzetta, or for Maple Grove, excuse me, and a timeout requested here as Trojans you know, came out strong, pretty confident in that first set. Stayed with Maple Grove, had the lead for portions, but right now struggling a little bit here with ball control. Another look at this point here is the tip. They dig it up. Everything looking fairly good up to this point for Wyzetta, but then Gray off the block. They get to dig, and then Helmick just didn't really have her feet under her there. And didn't did a good approach, and the uh, hitting error will put Maple Grove into a six-point advantage. Trojans go on the road to St. Michael Albertville on uh, Tuesday night, and then don't have another match until next Tuesday, which is also uh, the case for some of the other teams around the area as well. So. A little bit of a breather in the schedule, if you will, at this time, and 
coaches like it to get a chance to work on some things in practice. Maple Grove, we said they go to Osseo Tuesday night and then they're off until the next Tuesday as well. Out of the timeout, they come back to Helmick. Hinsey's pass to over the net and unable to uh, capitalize was Carissa Travis there. She tried to take a full swing at that one and instead uh, into the net it goes. So Preed still serving here for the Crimson and that serve was good. Wyzetta at the last moment deciding to let it go and it drops in. I was going to say Maple Grove has served consistently. Not every one of them is like a super tough serve but they're consistently putting it in play and with good placement. Is that a little bit fortunate there as that pass was off to the side but worked the slide and the block goes out so point again for the Crimson as Peeler the timing was right for Wyzetta but they didn't have the hands turned in and that ball just glancing off the outside hand and out 13 to 4 Scott Jackson's going to use another timeout kind of showing for Wyzetta here's another look at this last point starting with the uh, serve by Preed See, the pass wasn't very good right there. It just happened to go right to Jesuits, though. And then you'll see off the slide, they didn't have the hands turned in enough, and out it goes. So, Wyzetta, you know, obviously they've had a, we set a great program, and some years, you you know, you're just going to have a little bit younger team, and it, it kind of goes to show that it's, you know, it's not automatic. It isn't like, well, okay, we were good these last 10 years or we were good these last five years and it's automatically going to happen. Got to work for it each year. You, you know, you just have times when you're going to have a less experienced team and they're, they're not panicking. They're still, uh, still working hard and have good attitudes and everything, according to uh, Coach Jackson. But this has not been a, an easy go of things. They have not only uh, won just a couple, but they've been swept a lot too. So obviously got some... Uh, some growing to do as a team this year, but they've got plenty of time. And a nice block there. Trojans getting to the outside well as uh, Travis. You see to the outside, it looked like maybe a, a two uh, got a piece of that one, so Helmick will serve. Near collision there from Maple Grove. Rolled over into the middle, Allie Hinsey, and then dumped home by Zoe Brown. Been effective with that setter dump. I think it's the third time she's gotten it to work for her tonight. Pretty good job of disguising it here, and they went quick too, and just nobody in position there to, to dig that one up. Allie Fugelstead, Jr., will come in here for Maple Grove to serve. And too long as that set was just a little bit behind Kate Long. It wasn't quite exactly where she wanted it. So a 10 point lead here for the Crimson. And that pass nearly into the Trojans bench. Good recovery initially by Jesuits, but then they were unable to get it over. So an 11 point Crimson lead. Travis sending it over here for the Trojans. Now it's Paige Hinsey putting it away on the left side there for Maple Grove. They have certainly cut down on their errors here in the second set. You see between the block, which got up tardy there. Nice dig by Allie Hinsey there. And Creed, that one was just long. And so Wyzetta gets the point. Jesuits to serve now for the Trojans. Long run to get there and it's not gonna happen for Brown. Jesuits, one of several freshmen playing in the match for each team. 
Good strong serve there. Kinsey digging it up. And snuck between the blockers there by Peeler. Maple Grove gets the side out back and coming in now for the Crimson will be Megan Piter as he get another look. And the block didn't close. Peeler quick with that one. Off hands there, score the point for Wyzetta. And now they will make a substitution as Olivia Johnson comes in to serve here for the Trojans. Obviously at this point they can't really afford to trade points, but they at least would like to, you know, get a little something going, a little momentum and not just get run out here in the second set. That ball might have been headed out on the serve, but they play it. They come to the middle and a good effort, but no go as Roberts gets the kill here for Wyzetta. And they are to within 18 to nine. You go a point at a time. Try and get back in it. Lindsay sending that one over. On the run, cross court and good. Now well, Izetta starting to get a little momentum. Watch this one, a tough angle to cut it across court, but definitely got it in, and nicely so. So here's Johnson. Pass into the net, and score the point for Wyzetta. Another tough ball that they gave Brown to try and handle there, and this one, uh, Maple Grove seemed like they were cruising. Wyzetta gets something going. Bullet serve there. Tip here, Paige Hinsey gets to it, and then she'll have it blocked. Roberts in the middle. Wyzetta, all kinds of momentum right now, and they're back to within 18-12. There you get a look, Hinsey kind of changing her mind, it looked like, and left it a relatively easy block, and then a serving error for Wyzetta breaks the momentum. But uh, Crimson, still a comfortable lead, but uh, feeling the... Uh, Pressure a little bit of Wyzetta coming back on him. Zoe Brown now to serve. And this one put away for the Trojans by Kate Long. The sophomore has been swinging pretty confidently from that left side. Now the look as she gets a good approach and puts it away. It is 19-13. Wyzetta is not out of the second set yet. Caitlin Haug to serve. That's the thing, you gotta always go one point at a time. Uh, no time clock to uh, run out on you, you just chip away. And that one's off hands and scored a point for Maple Grove as Alexi Preet gets it. And that was a big point, I think, for Maple Grove. You know, you, you cut, cut any momentum Wyzetta might have had and you also, you know, get to that 20 point, you know you've only got five points to go. Paige Hinsey to serve, back in for Wyzetta is Kate Long. Into the middle there, and Roberts had Allie Hinsey ducking for cover. Another look at this one, quick set, and like Hinsey's getting down low, and I think he got her in the face. Sheehy to serve. Dug up nicely by Long. And we had a net violation, looks like, on Maple Grove. So the Trojans back to within five. Sheehy to serve here for Wyzetta. Right side with it for Preed, but nice dig there by Sheehy. Helmet. Now Paige Hinsey dug that up. Preed shooting one deep. Trojans will get it over. Here's Gray off the block and good. Hadn't heard a lot from Skyler lately after a good first set, and they come to her at a, an important time here, and the freshman gets it done here for Maple Grove. They seem to be having a little trouble timing her. Maybe they're 
you know, just not getting a good read on, on her approach. Short floater served by Hinzi nearly wound up being an ace, and that was just too long. Well executed by Wayzata, but, but the uh, hit was just too strong. So 22-15, Crimson. Offhand's there, but Hinzi digs it up. Now Paige Hinzi trying to go to the deep corner, but missed. And Wyzetta sticking around here at 22-16. Robley will come back in and serve now for Wyzetta. Carissa Travis reporting in as well here for Wyzetta. Here's Gray hitting from off the net. It was off hands up front and then Long, it looked like probably had time to adjust to that ball, but just didn't read it well. And 23-16, as Preet gets set to serve here for Grove. Helmack is denied. Perfect timing by Peeler. And now 24-16. Another look here. Peeler, the middle portion of that block, getting it. And a roll shot attempt there by Jesowitz is into the net, and Maple Grove will take this second set. Looked like they were going to breeze for a while. Wyzetta fought back to within six, but then the Crimson closed it out strong as you see a hitting error on the final point. And a 25-16 victory here for Maple Grove. We'll come back here to Wyzetta High School in just a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on CCX Sports. Thomas, you've got prediabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. I... <laughs> <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. You constantly ignore me. You barely eat anything healthy. You're half as active as you used to be. The pressure is just too much. I quit. OK, I get it. I'll do better. Just please, don't leave. OK. But remember, if I go, you go. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. Welcome back to Wyzetta High School. Maple Grove winning the first two sets. First one was pretty tough. Second one, they cruised for a while before Wyzetta fought back, but then Wyzetta just not able to, uh, to stick with them in the end, and they lose it 25-16. So Maple Grove doing well so far. They are 9-0 coming into this matchup. Well, Wyzetta struggled to a 2-7 start to the season. But uh, see what what will develop here in this third set. And we said Maple Grove getting ready to face their rivals from Osseo on Tuesday night. So we'll see what uh, transpires to begin set three here. Not seeing Wyzetta looking, uh, you know, out of sorts or down or anything. They're, they're falling behind 
two nothing. That's what you like to see at least is, is players who still come out and want to have fun and and uh, be aggressive and, and you know play the best they can. Obviously losing is something that can wear on you a little bit, but uh, they look like they're still still in pretty good spirits here. Trojans will have the serve to begin this third set as Olivia Johnson bring us into play here in set three. And too strong with that first serve. Maple Grove reads it well and just watch it harmlessly sail along here. Paige Hinsey to serve now. Long hits that one into the net. And so a two to nothing lead here for Maple Grove. Kinsey comes with a short floater. They just barely get there. Freed hammering it and we had a net violation here against Wyzetta, so score another point for the Crimson. Come middle to Travis, and she puts it away. Didn't get a full arm swing, really. That ball maybe a little lower than she was expecting, but you see, does a nice job of controlling it, to, you know, kind of taking a little bit off that, put it in play there so long to serve now with her team down three to one. Here's Gray rifling that one home for Maple Grove. Don't necessarily have a lot of, you know, really high tempo, high pace hitters in this one. Gray though certainly is and, and it is going to be even more so I'm sure as her career goes along. She's just a ninth grader. Fugelstead will serve now for Maple Grove. Travis, Paige Hinsey digs it up. Off the block, Wyzetta trying to recover, but unable to do so. Is there a net violation there? Had a few more of those than Coach Jackson would like, and he's gonna take a quick time out as his team falls behind 5-1 here in this third set. Maple Grove has, has you know, made fewer mistakes. They've played like a more experienced team, I think, overall tonight. They've been solid with serve. I don't know that they necessarily have you know, a lot of servers that, that somebody is really scared to, to try and dig up that they're, they're, you know, so strong that they can't, but they just, they, they put the ball in different spots, they've mixed it up, and most importantly, have put the serves in play. You know, it sounds like a simple thing, but you see a lot of times where teams shoot themselves in the foot with uh, not being able to, to serve consistently, but we have not seen that from Maple Grove at all here tonight. Out of the timeout, Fugelstead back at the service line here for the Crimson. A long way to go to get it. Izetta will get the ball over. Creed able to tip that one home. Maybe wasn't exactly the timing that they had in mind there, but she did a nice job of just hanging in the air and getting her fingertips on this one. Able to wipe it off the block there. Zeta again, not able to get that first pass where they want it. Gray has this one denied and it lands in. So a good block there for the Trojans. See a solo block put up by Helmick there. And the lead is six to two now for the Crimson as Wyzetta's Abby Sheehy will serve. A 
dug up nicely there. Good block by Peeler. Wyzetta recovers, though. Here's Gray, and that one scrapes off the net and <laughs> drops in. Sometimes luck is part of it, too, and there's no doubt that uh, was a little bit of good fortune there for Gray. It'd be tough to do that one exactly the same as she tried, but it, uh, it counts, 7-2. to two. And there's another one scraping off the net on the serve by Preed. So an 8-2 Crimson lead. If you could do that every time, it'd be tough to stop, but... Again, Wyzetta not able to get in the system here with a pass to start it out. Three just <laughs> rolls that one over. Gray punching it over the block. And here comes Brown with the dump again, this time dug up by Johnson. And the Crimson scrambling not going to be able to keep it alive. Eight to three. Well, there's a good read. You see, they've learned a little bit. Johnson able to, to get a dig on that setter dump. Helmick will serve now for Wyzetta. And that serve is wide. And Lonkerich checking in number seven for Wyzetta as Gray gets set to serve. And that one's off the antenna on the attempt by Jesowitz. So another point here for Maple Grove. Official checking to make sure everything's all Squared away with the uh, net. <laughs> Off the block and put away there. Score the kill for Jesowitz for Wyzetta. Oh, look as she comes to the outside. Rubald serving for the Trojans as they try and chip away at this Maple Grove lead. Maple Grove won the first two sets, and they are undefeated coming into tonight's match. And that one was off the tape by Roberts, not a block. It was just into the net, so 11 to 4, Crimson, and they get the side out. Now Kapiler will serve here. Put away by Roberts. Olivia Johnson with a nice set. Olivia to Olivia, and they get it done. 11 to 5. Roberts out. Kate on the how again for Wyzetta. That is exactly what Wyzetta would like to see more of as they were able to get into their offense. The Kinsey gets a full swing on that one and puts it away. He did a nice job of not letting Wyzetta get a, a run going here. See the good first pass. Brown sets it up. Split the blockers with that one. Brown serving here for Maple Grove. And straight too long was a touch though. Yes, it was. So that was off the fingertips of the block. Score the point for Wyzetta. Olivia Johnson back to the service line here for the Trojans. Good recovery here as the Trojans able to keep it live. Tipped over, but a pretty good read as they deny Black. And we have a net violation here against Maple Grove. 
And so score the point for the Trojans. They fight back into it a little bit, down five now. But Johnson served into the net. We'll make it 13-7 now, and serving for Maple Grove, Paige Hinsey. Here's Helmick off the block. Again, they just have trouble reading her. I remember seeing that in the match last year, too. It teams find it, you know, it's not that usual to see a lefty hitting from the right side like that, and they just seem to have trouble really squaring her up and blocking. That serve is too long. Why is that? Those are the kind of things that, you know, they just don't have that much margin for error, can't really afford. Here's Allie Hinsey. Back down. Trojans will have to play it over here and come quick with it. And that one off the block. Kinsey to serve again. Whoops, too long with that one. <laughs> Kate Long nearly backed up into the ball. She realized she wanted to let it go, but she didn't almost uh, stepped into the path of that ball. So she he to serve. Kind of a key stretch here for Wyzetta. They either get back in it here or Maple Grove pulls away. Gray sends a free ball over here. Come to Helmick. Oh, a nice dig by Ali Hinsey. Helmick will get another shot at it. Hammers it, but dug up. And then pushed over and score the point for Wyzetta. Get a good scramble point there. And uh, Jesowitz able to get it done here for the Trojans. Just on the run, able to put it Put it away there, 15 to 10. They come right side to Freed, dug up. And Freed knocking down on a net violation against Wyzetta. Nice job of disguising that set for Maple Grove. They show a little bit of variety of where they're able to go with the ball, and now Freed will serve. with a nice dig there. Here's Gray off the blockers. And Helmick from off the net able to get that one snuck through the blocker there. It's a different opportunity than what she's had, but able to time that ball just right so that Peeler wasn't quite able to make good contact on the block. To the outside, Keeler off the block and good as they work that slide. Haven't used it a whole lot tonight, but that time used it effectively. Skylar Gray will serve. There's another look. He didn't get a full run on that ball, but did a nice job. It's set Roberts in the middle. Ali Hinsey dug it up. Wanted around a little bit up front. Now Paige Hinsey. And that ball is called a look there against Maple Grove. So score the point for the Trojans. Tatum Rubald to serve here now for Wyzetta. Here's Paige Hinsey, has it denied. Roberts was there, Olivia Johnson there. Yeah, looks like it was Johnson, the smaller of the two, getting most of that one. And so Rubald will try and bring her team even closer yet, but just too long with that one, and that Wyzetta has seen more times than they'd like tonight and get a little momentum and then give it back with that serving error. So 18-13 lead. 
And Peeler will serve. Joust at the net here. Roberts on the run, puts it away, and it's 18-14. Another look as uh, Roberts showing that good reach at 6-2 to get to that one. So Haug to serve. Trojans fighting back. And Gray able to put that one down. Nice placement on that. Zoe Brown to serve here for the Crimson. Have us on the run, Gray able to dig it up. And there's Creed using the block, just wiping it out. 20 to 14 Maple Grove, and she was pumped about that one. That was a point they really wanted to get. Here's Brown. And that one off the block. Turnabout is fair play there. As uh, Long scraping that one off the crimson block attempt. So Olivia Johnson will head back to the service line here with her team trailing by five. And sprayed way too long there for Creed. They wanted a touch on the net, but no, no go. 20 to 16. Just wide there as Black. It went quick. Great idea, but didn't execute. 20 to 17. And timeout taken by Sean Haugen on the Maple Grove side as Wyzetta feeling that momentum growing a little bit as they have early battled back into this one. See Johnson with the serve. Maple Grove quickly into their offense. They got what they wanted, but they just a little bit wide off the hand of Black. You know, it's an interesting, it's a learning experience both ways here, whether you're the team trailing. There's a look at a young fan. Youth. As, uh, you know, you, you're the team that's ahead, too. You, you have to learn, you know, how to put teams away and now how to not let up. And so, really, it's a learning opportunity for both teams. Johnson the serve and it is too long. So the timeout works, if you will, if you're Maple Grove. And they go up by four at 21-17. Paige Hinsey to serve. Short floater there. Allie Hinsey digs it up. Now it's Gray tipping over the block. And off the block, and Long gets the kill there for Wyzetta, and they're back to within three. Another look as it just got up late on the block. Long ready to go here as her team feeling good as they've Fight back within three. Pass is off target there and put away by Jesowitz and it's 21-19. Allie Hinsey obviously a very good passer most of the time. That one was off target and Moisetta able to put it away. Creed rolling it over the block. She has made some clutch shots tonight for Maple Grove. And they go up by three again. Another look, she didn't just hammer into this block. She reads it well, goes around it and dropping a soft one in there. Helmick. And it is wide as she mishit that ball, barely got it. 
And it's sprayed wide. 23-19 now. Allie Hinsey. Maple Grove hoping to win their 10th straight to begin the season. There's Helmick off the block. Hinsey though gets to it. Reed sending it over. Back for Helmick and able to sneak it through. The block hadn't penetrated the net there and it falls at the feet of Peeler and it's 23-20. And the Wyzetta fans happy to see their team at least making a, a match of it here, fighting back hard. Sheehy. That pass was off target and just dumped over old oh, Wyzetta. I'd like to have that one to do again. As just kind of dropped into the middle. It was an unusual looking play, but they looked like they were in position but didn't handle it. And a chance for Preed now to finish it off. Helmick dug up by Paige Hinsey. Here is Preed sending it over. Helmick partially blocked there. And double hit called against the Crimson. So Izetta stays alive. 4-21. Helmick to serve. They come to Gray, the freshman, and that is going to do it. Match point there for Maple Grove. As Gray able to put it away for the Crimson. And it wasn't easy, especially in the first and third sets, but they come up with the W here to improve to 10-0. Another look at it here. As Gray, and they try to dig it up, and over it comes. I thought I was going to take one there. <laughs> and it's a 25-21 victory for Maple Grove, so they do indeed get the sweep here against the Trojans. We will come back here to wrap things up here from Wyzetta High School as Maple Grove down in Wyzetta in three in high school volleyball. I'll never forget the day our landlord called and said, read your lease. No pets allowed. My owner tells him my dog ate the lease, but that didn't work. And now I'm stuck in a shelter. But this pit bull is ready for a new crib. I'm loving, loyal, and play well with others. So don't be intimidated by all my muscles, because the biggest one I have is my heart. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Hey, did you know 2.4 million loving cats and dogs in shelters and rescues need our help to find a home? Let's go to the shelterpetproject.org and meet a few are in a shelter near you. Harlow, oh, she's one great listener who loves to hear all your stories. My kind of cat. Cerulo is a sweet, goofy boy who's eager to please. Sounds just like another dog I know. So go to the shelterpetproject.org, search your local shelters and rescues, and go for a cuddle with your next best friend. Adopt. Start a story. Adopt at the shelterpetproject.org. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me.
Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> 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 so we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. Welcome back here to Wyzetta. A great start to the season continues from Maple Grove tonight. As it wasn't real easy, but they get the sweep over Wyzetta to improve to 10-0. And, and we're joined by a couple of the seniors that uh, helped get it done for Maple Grove. We'll start with Paige Hinsey and... Uh, well, your team has, has played really well so far this season. You know, how much fun has it been to get off to this kind of a start? It has been extremely fun. We've had so many fun <laughs> instances and so many inside jokes. It's just like the whole mentality that we have right now is great, and we are so excited for what the season has in hold for us. Well, Zeta hasn't won a lot this year, but obviously they've had a great program over the years, and they, they put a little challenge on you tonight. How did you feel like your team responded? I feel like we're... We weren't cocky coming in, but we were confident, and we were ready to be in the driver's seat the whole time, which, which we executed on, and we we're really happy with the outcome tonight. You guys served well all night, I thought, too. How important has that been to your season so far? We've been serving a lot in practice, working on it. It's been one of our main execution like ideas that we need, and we really were happy with what we had tonight. You don't get a lot of time to celebrate because you come right back and play your big rival from Osseo Tuesday. You know how much you look forward to that. We're so excited. We feel like it's going to be a great match, and we're just excited to see how it goes. Thanks for joining us, Paige, and good luck tomorrow night. Thank you. And uh, Annika Peeler, your team uh, come in here to a place that a lot of people uh, have trouble winning at. Why is that? You know how much fun was tonight? It was a lot of fun. I know our team was like super excited. I mean, we just won the Hopkins um, tournament um, over the weekend on Saturday. So um, we, we just had to get right back. We got one day of the rest, and we came right back to it. And then we have Osseo tomorrow. I know you played some good teams in that tournament, you know, beating Armstrong, beating Southwest, and, and then beating Hopkins in the championship. How much did that help you guys to get those kind of tough tests and matches that were kind of back and forth? It definitely um, kind of tested um, how far we can, like, dig down and just um, believe in ourselves. We had some, like, sets where we thought we weren't going to win, but it's a lot of mentality. A lot of it's, um, my coach said, Sean always says it's more like 80% um, of your mind and then it's 20% physical. So it's a lot of mind things and our team's really good at just like honing it in and saying, okay, we got this next point and believing in ourselves. There's obviously a lot of season to go, but this is really one of the best starts that Maple Grove Volleyball has ever had. You know, how much fun has it been to, to see this group gel like this? As a senior, uh, I came into the varsity program as a sophomore, and it, we just have had some troubles with um, getting our team together. But this team's kind of slowly grown, and we've been developing together, and now we're, we're finally at the top. Like, we're finally that team that we just feel like we all gel, and it's so much fun, like, actually winning, and now we're 10-0. So it's just unbelievable. It's great. Coach was telling me that it's been an awful long time since you've been able to beat Osseo, too, and uh, how much do you look forward to that one? Um, and we're looking forward to it a lot. We've uh, been asking all our classmates to come in, and we're like, you know, we got to just win this match, and it's been 14 years since we've beat them, so it would be nice to do it again, and we're just confident, and we're ready, and we're ready to take Osseo. All right, congratulations on a nice win, and good luck the rest of the season Thank here. Thank you. Annika Peeler, one of the seniors for Maple Grove, as they are off to that great start at 10-0 with this victory here tonight over Wyzetta. And again, they take on Osseo on Tuesday night. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's match here from Wyzetta High School. For all of our CCX Sports crew, I'm Jay Wilcox. It's Maple Grove sweeping Wyzetta.